This is rich. It's, it's ironic, um, and it has no one fooled. This is to distract from the real sp- special interest group that is the real threat to children all across this country, the NRA. This is one of the greatest threats to kids in schools. This is one of the greatest threats to teachers um, and our families in the school system. Not whatever they're talking about right now to score political points, but the fact that our kids are being shot. That if your child, and I'm speaking to the parents of this country, God forbid if your child were to die before the age of 18, the most likely reason is because they were shot to death. I find that unacceptable. But Republicans on this committee do not. And that's why we're here today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. During today's hearing, Republicans on this committee are attempting to paint the American Federation of Teachers as a destructive specialist interest group um, out to harm students. They are not. AFT represents our talented, generous, and compassionate educators who are the backbone of this nation's child care and our children's home away from home. This is personal for me. My mother's been a public school educator for 37 years teaching special education. She actually retires this year. And look, I recognize that the pandemic has had real impacts on American children, but make no mistake, for a brief time in this country, children didn't have to memorize emergency exits. Children didn't have to practice active shooter drills more than they're doing fire drills. Children didn't have to walk around with a Kevlar backpack or figure out what they have to do if a shooter were to come into their classroom. Students are begging for Congress to have the courage to act on gun violence. If you care about students, if you care about schools, fight for a world where students are not dying in a pool of their own blood in the, call, in the classrooms that they're supposed to be learning in. If Republicans gave a damn about America's children, they would pass legislation to end gun violence, to keep students safe, to keep teachers safe, to keep administrators safe, and the staff at the schools. If Republicans gave a damn about the next generation, they wouldn't be actively trying to cut funding for your kid's school and turning a blind eye to the gun violence that's killing children every single day in this country. If they gave a damn about gun violence, they wouldn't be going after teachers over some emails about school safety from two years ago. Let me tell you what people are actually going through. My friend Manuel Oliver lost his son Joaquin in the Parkland shooting, Joaquin Oliver, um, in Parkland, Florida. And when I think about what our children are going through and the real threat to them, I think about the autopsy of Joaquin Oliver. I quote, a significant amount of bleeding. The bleeding went into his right chest cavity and started compressing his lungs. By basically drowning, he died in a pool of his own blood. That is what happened to Joaquin Oliver. That is the threat that our students are going through. 549 children and teens have already been lost to gun violence this year alone. And yet here we are, burying our heads in the sand, ignoring the problem, and refusing to put legislation on the floor. Uh, Ma'am, thank you so much for being here today. What impact does a child living through mass shooting or other gun-related events have on their development, mental health, and ability to learn? Look, it's terrible. I mean, we represent the educators in in Parkland and the educators in um, Sandy Hook. And uh, gun violence is the number one cause of death of kids. If we held an oversight hearing on this and invited survivors, teachers, students, parents, do you think that the committee would find that inaction in Congress on gun violence to be appropriate? How do you feel like the parents and the students would feel? Look, I hear from teachers and kids all the time. I, what this committee hasn't asked me is I've been in I think 147 work sites or 150 work sites between April 2021 and April 2023. I walk the walk with parents and teachers and children, and they are scared about gun violence and about the ready access of guns. They're scared. I hear it all the time. Yeah. Well, th- thank you so much. Thank you for your work and thank you for your perspective on children, their overall health, well-being, and development. This is one of the greatest threats to kids in schools. This is one of the greatest threats to teachers um, and our families in the school system. Not whatever they're talking about right now to score political points, but the fact that our kids are being shot.